Greetings, everyone. In this video, we'd like to remind you of a few best practices for airway management. One of the most commonly administered medications is albuterol, and we do that through a nebulizer setup. Take a few moments to review this photograph and see that using existing equipment that you have familiarity with and access to on the ALS transport units, you'll find a CPAP mask, the general normal setup for a nebulizer to include the nebulizer T, the nebulizer cup, and the nebulizer tube. These are just in a standard setup. These are not the inline nebulizer. And last but not least, the HEPA filter that comes in the CPAP circuit. To be clear, our expectation is that you do not open a CPAP circuit solely to retrieve a HEPA filter, a CPAP mask, or a CPAP harness to hold the CPAP mask onto the patient. Instead, we've distributed or in the process of distributing CPAP masks, the CPAP mask harness, as well as the HEPA filters to each station. This is what that might look like all put together. Again, CPAP mask that you're familiar with, the standard nebulizer setup, and on the end of that nebulizer tube, placing the HEPA filter. Sometimes this additional length, the tube, can present some unique challenges. And so here's a different or alternative setup option, eliminating that tube altogether. So you'll have the CPAP mask, the T that comes in the normal nebulizer setup kit, the cup, and the HEPA filter. Again, the point here is to minimize, if not reduce, aerosolized particles from a patient who presents with viral syndrome out into the air where we're treating the patient. This is what it might look like on an actual patient. Another procedure we perform is bag valve mask ventilation. If you need to ventilate a patient with a BVM, if that patient is suspected of having COVID-19 or presents with viral syndrome, please consider using a CPAP mask, a HEPA filter, and a bag valve mask. The idea here, once again, is to eliminate or significantly reduce the amount of exhaled aerosolized particulate matter into the area in which we're working. This is what the setup looks like. Again, bag valve mask, place your viral filter or HEPA filter in line, and the CPAP mask. If you're going to use this setup, please also be sure to include the use of the harness around the patient's head to ensure a good and unbroken seal between the patient's face and the mask itself. Lastly, if we need to perform endotracheal intubation, the setup looks like endotracheal tube, the HEPA filter, and the bag valve mask. Again, this is what it looks like all put together. In this case, the viral filter goes in between the endotracheal tube and the bag valve mask itself. Please do not attempt to place the viral filter on the exhalation port or the port where a peep valve would normally go on the bag valve. We'd like for that filter to remain in between the endotracheal tube and the BVM. Should you also wish to place end tidal capnography, you could do so in line and do so in between the viral filter and the bag itself.